Well today we are going to use a totally different method, to be able to correct these errors eh. Since our device we had forgotten what the screen lock was. We have formatted it and we were left with. The screen lock again also with the Google Gmail account. Well today we are going to be able to recover it in a very easy and very simple way. If you still have not recovered your phone I recommend you watch it. Watch the video your tutorial step by step until the end so that you can solve what this is. You can recover your device, how we are going to do it, well uh. We are going to use a totally different method than the previous one. Uh, we also have different methods in the description of the video and in the comments. We are going to leave some methods so that you can apply it. If suddenly this method does not work for you, well uh, also. I want to tell you that in this video tutorial we are not going to use what is the SIN car blocked with PIN code. We are not going to use it, we are going to use another method as we had said. We are going to go back what is backwards and we are going to go forwards. We go up forward now, click forward. We are going to enter again here where it says policy and privacy. We go to the last option, then we go down to the more options we click the last one that says Motorola, com support. That is the option that we are going to select. Then we click on this profile that appears here. We are going to select Google, we select Google. Then here we click where it says conditions. Then we go down to see what else we get. Let's click on these little dots. Let's select Google Maps to see. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's click on politics again. It seems I entered wrong. Let's click on Motorola. Com support again. We click on this profile. We click here. To click here, that option I was looking for now appears. We go back, then we enter again. Now we're going to do it directly. We're going to click on Motorola, then we're going to do it directly from here. From this profile here and as you can see these letters that are here, you're going to click on them. You're going to click on them. Now you're going to click here on share. Now we're going to select message, we select message, a new message. Here we're going to write any number. We're going to delete everything that's here, we're going to write www. YouTube, youtube.com. We're going to click on send. We're going to click on upload. We're going to click here YouTube, let's see. This and we're going to click here and quickly click the ball. You see that you do this same method. Then and if it doesn't work then you have to format it. And do this process again. Now when you format it and go back and do it, yes, it will work at percent. We're going to click here in configuration, we're going to click here where it says accessibility we enable this option here here where it says control we click here where it says configuration here it would take us to this here where it says accessibility we're going to click on it we enable it ready we go back back we're going to see another method to see if it works to see when we are here We're going to click on the little cross, we give it the camera, we're going to give it the permissions. We click on it, we take a photo. We take a photo, we click here, now we click on the photo. We're going to click here on share here, it will send us this option. As you can see here it gives us the same message option and it takes us directly there. 
Let's go up, let's go up. We sent it, it shows us here not even Google Photos. It doesn't appear or that it's not working. Let's see if another option doesn't work. No good. Then what are we going to do if not yes if it didn't work for you now on YouTube? It has to work yes or yes you have to format it so what we're going to do here is click on Google Assistant we click here where it says use. 50 from Google we click here where it says ready. Open Google Maps. Open Google Maps, let's say open Google Maps and it would take us directly to Google Maps. Here we're going to click here on skip. Here we're going to select our location. We're going to locate our location. We click here on accept. All permissions, we're going to give all that permission. All of those that we're going to do locate our location in real time. In real time, we're going to select any of these options that appear here. If you see this one we're going to click on this one, let's see where it takes us. We're going to drive the car. Previously a voice dictator appeared here, but that voice dictator already it's not. Working that voice dictator no longer works. Here in Google as you can see Google doesn't appear we get Google Chrome but it doesn't work either so what we're going to do is go back and we're going to see this profile that appears here we're going to select that profile now we're going to click here where it says configuration now we're going to select this option that says google location configuration then we're going to select this option that says here all now we click where it says show system here we're going to see google services what we're going to do is disable it. But as we see it's going to let us disable Google services. Well if you got this far then don't worry. I'm going to explain another method as we can see this magnifying glass that appears here. Then we're going to select battery. Beep battery we're going to delete some keys here. And we're going to select where it says battery usage it says apps. Now the option that is shown here that is the one we're going to select then. We go down to the last options here we're going to be able to find this option that says. Google Play Services we're going to click here on Disable we Disable. Now what we're going to do is restart our phone. We're going to restart it. We're going to wait a few seconds until it restarts. Completely and then give it the following settings. Uh, I also want to explain that we recommend watching the video tutorial until the end since uh we have some errors left and how do we correct these errors? Well, uh, to correct these errors, we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end to be able to solve it. Well our device has completely restarted. So what we are going to do is give it the following settings. We click here where it says accept and continue, we are going to click. We are going to wait until we get an error. When we get those errors then what we are going to do is the following. That is why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end to be able to solve what this problem is with this device. I am going to pause the video for a moment until it takes us to the option that will appear here where it says do not copy. This always usually takes a few minutes. Well we are going to click here where it says do not copy. We go where it says copy, now it will appear. It will go to the screen up to here. Let's leave it, we go back to this option. We are going to click here on Google services or the assistant. Open Google Maps, it will let us, it gives us the option. If we see that it lets us enter from here. 
Let's see what we do. We give it the ball. We are going to give it help here. Now we give it these three here dots. We're going to click open here. Here we're going to enable it. We click here. Now we're going to select Google Maps here. Google Maps. We're going to click here on Google Maps and we're going to enter Google Maps. Come on. Let's look for the little ball that appeared here. It seems that that little ball is no longer working. We're going to select one of these locations. It seems that the little ball no longer works. Well, yes, that little ball that appears here does not work. Then we're going to go back. Back, we go back. Back to here, so what we're going to do is click on these three dots. Then we're going to go here where it says accessibility. As we see, that magnifying glass here too, then we're going to write B. Battery bait, we delete, we click here where it says battery usage. In the option that is indicated to us we're going to click. Now we're going to look for the Google Play services that are here. But this is not over yet. We always recommend watching the video tutorial if you want to eliminate all the errors completely. Now. We don't have to have any SIN car entered in our phone to be able to do this. Because if you have a SIN car entered it will come out EH. It will not give you access and it will block you again. So here we click configure offline. Here we click accept. We click accept, we click here on skip. Skip, we say no now. Not now we say no now either, we click here on next. Now we are going to click here on finish and I am going to show you the errors that we have left on our phone which are these errors. We block and we are going to slide it. It lets us, what are we going to do then if it lets us? Then what we are going to do is lower the notifications. We click here on the little nut. It would take us to settings. Let's go to the last options. We are going to click here on system. Now we are going to click here where it says reset. We click on delete all and we are going to reset everything. When our phone is completely reset we will be able to configure it as we have done and we would have an error free device.